Good morning. Mr. Grumpy over there. Yeah, yeah, there's always one that's grumpy in the morning. And Cohen is being ornery crawling out the door. Anyways, I figured we'll get our devotional book here and read it as we load up for school today. So I'm going to set you guys down. Get rearranged up here in this car. It's not too not too bad outside today. It's a little a little chilly, just a little chilly. I need to uh, wash my windshield again. It's got some strikes. Uh, turn the music off. Turn the air down so we can hear. Wait for the little hooligans. See, check it out. Look at that. See that smear? Like, I survived. Yeah, it's, we tried. We tried. It didn't work out very well. Look, I got a little frog. Oh, oh. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Hop in. Hop in, little frog. Hop in, little frog. Book bag is right there. He is very grumpy. They seem to have done it. We have three people. Yep. Three people on. Today happens to be Monday, September 27th. Relax in my everlasting arms. Your weakness is opportunity to grow strong in awareness of my almighty presence. When your energy fails you, do not look inward and lament, lament the lack you find there. <clears throat> look to me and my sufficiency rejoice in my radiant riches that are abundantly available to help you go gently through this day leaning on me and enjoying my presence thank me for your neediness which is building trust bonds between us if you look back on your journey thus far you can see the days of extreme weakness have some of your most precious times Oh my gosh, that sounded really weird how I read that. <laughs> Memories of these days are richly interwoven with golden strands of my intimate presence. <laughs> Let's go to school now. Well, guys, I have uh, already been to work and done. Uh, we're done. Yeah, that's right. We're done. Today was a nice, easy day. Um, just a little bit of a little, a little bit of PR work, which you know, just go check up on the customers that we've recently taken care of, make sure everything's still going good. It's just the way you do it. And if you aren't doing it that way, maybe you should start. So how are y'all doing? <laughs> See what I did there? A little bit of PR work, eh? <laughs> Anyhow, um, right now, I'm gonna set you guys down right here. Woo! I'm switching out my boots because I like to leave my boots in my car for my shoes. Since I'm done working, I don't need my boots. But really, what I really need to do, to be completely honest, is I need to buy me some new boots and some new shoes. But this is the life of a single dad trying to make it by make those ends meet by wearing my shoes for two years for three years those boots that i wear for work are from 2014. how do i know this from 2014 because those are the boots that i wore to my wedding <laughs> and you know what I, even after all this time and after all that pain i get some some use out of them i still get gain out of them they're still good boots they could be replaced they're not totally worn out but you can feel it, it's getting there. Someday soon I will have some new boots and some new shoes. And those are the little things that I look forward to. 
but with uh, today being short and done already, um, I, I mean, maybe the boys and I can do something this evening, a little exciting, maybe get the dirt bike out, take it out into the field, check out the moon. What? Can you guys see the moon right there? Hold on, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's super faint, but it's right in between those two little cloud lines. That's super cool. That's really cool. But anyhow, besides that, I got conferences done and I absolutely love, I love the fact that, you know, there's things that the boys struggle with that I see that the teachers, they don't see that because they're, the boys are, your kids at home act differently than they do at school. At school, they're reflecting what you're teaching them at home, but at home, they're acting like little crazies. <laughs> I, I guess that's how it works, right? I mean, I I don't I don't know. I'm still going through. I'm still learning. So I'm really glad to hear that. Like sharing at home is a struggle. Sharing at school isn't a struggle at all. And to me, that is that's amazing. I love that. I love that. Now I've got some more conferences to do still. This is only one of three, and so far. Cohen is doing wonderful. I love it. And and just to hear that, you know what, you're doing a great job, you ought to be proud, you're raising them right. That is, that's, that's an amazing feeling. That's God being like, hey, here's your reminder. Take care of your family first. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for blessing me with three boys. Allowing me to have this opportunity to raise these boys the way that you see fit because may your will be done and it's it's happening guys it's happening if you haven't heard it the song watching you by rodney atkins i think i said that right i think that's the right name um let's just pull it up right quick definitely check it out and give it a listen because that is <laughs> that is my boys that, those are my boys right now those are my boys yep right here Rodney Atkins watching you 48 million views 10 years ago 10 years ago man it's a it's a good song it's a real good song so that little bit of advice for you today don't give up don't give in it's okay to walk away but no who's watching you and me I have at least three boys that watch me daily plus all of you I appreciate all of you and man I I can't believe how close how close we are we're so we're coming so close this is amazing a dream come true it already is it already is it's such a blessing y'all are a blessing to us and I hope and I pray that I'm a blessing to you and that we're a blessing to you now, I'm gonna end it here before I get too emotional. <laughs> and and uh, maybe we'll get the dirt bike out this afternoon and uh, give you guys a little bit of fun riding and end off our day on a good note, just like that. For now, I'm gonna go inside and do some chores. <laughs> you wanna help? Drop a comment down below, let me know. <laughs> Let's cut to this afternoon. All right guys, here it is. Part of parenting, part of life that I don't know anybody that enjoys. It's called laundry. Yep. So here's a Cohen basket. Cohen's going to put his away. Here's a Riley basket. He's going to put his away. And Andy has the, well, biggest basket. So Andy's going to put his away. And then we have towels and socks right there that we're going to do in a minute. This fits Cohen. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Now, let's get out of Dad's room. Take our laundry. Put them away and show other kids how to do their laundry too. Is, is that how this works, guys? Drop a, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Let me know. Don't worry about all my flags. I got a little bit of everything in there. Let's move to the dresser room. Oh, yeah, that's right here. Yep. I turned on this light. Somehow it turned off. Truly weird. Truly weird. All right, and time lapse.
Well, there we go. All the laundry picked up. Whew. Now we just have piles of shirts and uh, we'll definitely be getting to those next. So anyways, I'm gonna come right over here and stand in front of this nice little puzzle. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to show your kids how to put their laundry away. Dad. Click that red subscribe button. Ask three of your friends to also subscribe. And Asher, Get some tattoos. Asher, Asher Ben did one of the tattoos. Get some tattoos for Mr. Cohen. He's really good at it. And booty butt. What? Don't say that. They didn't hear that. Shh. You guys didn't hear that. <laughs> Have a great day. We're going to get our reward now, which is to play a game. 15 minutes. Here we go. God bless y'all. We'll catch you tomorrow in another video. Not in my room, because I'm going to play with you all. They just don't understand. I'll play Roblox with Daddy. Don't understand.